Our memories don't actually need drugs Ready? to perform extraordinary Ready? feats. Go. This man is trying to win the World Memory Championships. To win today, he has to view a full deck of cards in under 40 seconds and memorize them in just three minutes. He is Dominic O'Brien. But how does he do it? Stop memorization, start recall. The National Institute of Health in America spent three years and a quarter of a million dollars to find out what's different about these people's brains. Six of spades, ace of spades. The answer? Absolutely nothing. Three of spades. They don't have photographic memories, which most scientists believe is a myth. The only difference between them and us is that they have trained their memory. Queen of diamonds, is that right? Yeah. One minute. Yeah, that's, that's what I got wrong. Yes. O'Brien wins yet again. So what's his secret? His success relies on a few simple tricks. If you're presented with a hundred digit number, if I am, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, unless I break it up. So I break up a long number, sequence of number, into pairs of digits. And then I give each pair of digits a character. For instance, the number 10 is Dudley Moore for me, and the number 07 is Roger Moore. Uh, number 99 would be Mr. Whippy. So I, then I have something that I can work with. And then to remember those pairs of numbers in sequence, I imagine them in a journey. So it's a bit like making up a story involving those uh, characters. The story for 100799 would be Dudley Moore meets Roger Moore for a Mr. Whippy ice cream. Easy. When we use a story to remember facts or figures, we are creating several pathways to where those memories are stored in the brain. Instead of lining up one set of dominoes, we're setting up several. When we can't remember something, one of these pathways is broken. But thinking of things that are associated will often help us get to the same memory. That's because we're using a different route to get to the same destination. The more routes we create, the more likely we are to remember because if one pathway doesn't reach the memory, another one will. Using stories and journeys to aid our memories, all of us can use our brains to achieve astonishing feats. For Gwillem, the steps he took to help his memory are beginning to pay off. And like Willem, there's a great deal that all of us can do to help our memories perform more effectively. Eating and sleeping properly are crucial. And for the brave, a little ice water can have some startling results. At the end of the day, with practice, determination, and a few tips, all of us can bring out the full potential of our memory.